All right, guys, Crypto Kurt here with another way to make some passive income using your cryptos. Now, today we're not talking about an ICO. We're not talking about 10 years in the future. We're not talking about, you know, what possibly, maybe, possibly could happen in the future. Today we're actually going to talk about how to go buy something today and set it up and start staking to make some money today. And I'm going to show you exactly how I've set that up, and then I'm going to do a little transfer and walk you through how to set up the wallet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what we're talking about today is purchasing or investing in NEO. And I uh, look, I haven't done a video on NEO. There's a whole bunch of people that have done videos on NEO. Uh, please go do your homework. But effectively, it's it's like Ethereum in that it's a platform. It is going to be targeting the Chinese marketplace. But one of the big differences between NEO and Ethereum is NEO allows programmers who understand or know C Sharp to work and develop apps that live on the platform. Whereas I believe there's a there's a proprietary programming language that you have to learn if you want to uh, develop apps on the Ethereum network. So personally, over the next few years, again, looking out in the future, I do think the value of NEO is going to blow up. But right now, let's have a look at what's happening with NEO. So this is the three-month chart. Uh, you can see, basically, if we look at the Bitcoin price, it is um, hitting this support line. You can see the support line goes back to the beginning of September, and then beyond that goes back to uh, the beginning of August. We've got a pretty strong support line here right at about 27, 28 USD. And of course, that's what it's sitting at right now, 27.14. It's down 1.49% in the last 24 hours, according to Coin Market Cap. But the cool thing about NEO is that you can purchase the NEO, you can invest in the NEO, and then you can move those shares into a very well, a series of wallets that have been developed by the organization. And those wallets then go out and stake gas. Okay, and as I understand it, gas is the token that you will need to actually run the applications on the NEO network. So the concept is you're going to build an application on the NEO network, and then you're going to plug some gas tokens into that application to actually make it work. And those applications will consume the gas over time. So the concept is pretty cool in that you are using an existing crypto, an existing token to create a new token or an, uh, an, I guess a, not a new token, but a getting you new tokens in gas, which then will be used to, to get the platform apps to perform whatever functionality they, they've been developed to do. So again, I can only imagine that the two, uh, the two tokens are going to increase in value hand over hand in hand, if you will. And again, let's have a quick look at the charts for gas. You can see the gas has been much more volatile, came out of the charts uh, somewhere in the, you know, the $3 range. Obviously, I wasn't around for the IPO. I wasn't paying attention uh, when all this came out. And then you can see shot all the way up to uh, 3581 US. Uh, it's come all the way back down to uh, $8.13, shot all the way back up to uh, $33. And currently sitting somewhere in the twenty-one dollar mark, which is uh, twenty, where we have twenty dollars and eighty-nine cents. But again, the concept is you're going to go invest in the Neo, and then you, the, those Neo shares are going to automatically mine or stake the gas shares. Now, if you already own some Neo shares, and remember, guys, that previously they were Ant shares before they were rebranded. So, if you own Ant shares or Neo shares. You should be not leaving those tokens on an exchange, not leaving them in some wallet. You should be taking advantage of this opportunity. Um, this is a website called neotogas.com. It simply allows you to do some calculations. At the moment, I have a whopping nine uh, NEOs. And two of them I've put in the wallet. And I'm going to transfer the other seven in this video so we can see how that works. If I click Calculate, you can see what it spits out for me here. So you can see that 9 NEOs currently is valued at $244. I'm actually up $4 uh, from this afternoon when I purchased them, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, you can see that there's a theory calculation and an actual calculation. You can see that it gives us how much gas per day, how much per week, how much per month, and how much per year. Uh, you can also see a dividend percentage payout. And then there's also a theory calculation. Okay, We'll talk about the difference in just a second. You can choose to view that in USD, 
or you can choose to see that in BTC, Bitcoin, or you can choose to see that in gas value. So just to stick with the USD, just to give us an idea of a monetary value, again, we're not going to get rich off nine uh, shares of NEO, but it is going to spit out $31, or sorry, $20.60 um, at the end of the year by having the, by staking the, staking the NEOs and, and getting gas. Now the concept is, of course, is we're getting paid in gas, so at the end of the year we're going to have almost one share, we're going to have 0 .9842 shares of gas, and that will then have a monetary value. So today, that's worth $22.04 according to this. Again, if we go back to uh, the coin market cap, it's currently $20.89. We can see the volatility, we can see it's gone all the way up to $32 um, in the recent past. So again, in my humble opinion, there's no reason to believe that the value of these gas tokens that you're staking is not going to increase in value over time. At least that's the hope anyway. Okay, so the question is, how do we make this happen? All right, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to neo.org, okay? And then you're going to click on the download. There'll be a download section up there. If not, you can click on that um, series of lines and go to download. It'll bring you to your download clients page. I will say that I did try this using a web, one of their web apps, and I put them away about two months ago thinking it was actually going to do its thing, and I logged in today and found that it hadn't done a single thing. I hadn't mined or hadn't staked a single gas. So I decided to go out and take some action and actually learn how to do this and do it right. So what we're going to do is, is, this is what I'm suggesting to you guys because I know this works. You're going to go to the desktop. You're going to click on the desktop. You're going to choose the Neon Wallet. The difference is the GUI and the CLI both require an offline um, synchronization with the blockchain, whereas Neon is a, is a light wallet, and you don't have to do that, uh, that download. You don't have to download that. You don't have to download the whole blockchain, which, of course, takes time and resources on your computer. <clears throat> now, obviously, that's going to come down as a .exe file. You're going to execute that file. And this is what you're going to see. This is the Neon Wallet. This is the very first window that you see. And the first thing you're going to need to do is create a new wallet. Okay. Now, I've already done, uh, I've already created a new wallet, so I'm not going to do that right now in front of you. But when you create a new wallet, if those of you who have done a new wallet before, obviously it spits out your QR code, spits out your private key, and spits out your public key. You then are asked to uh, put in a password, and you're asked to name the wallet or name the key store. Uh, so go ahead and go through that process, create your wallet, save all that information, and then what we're going to do is we're going to log in. I'm going to log in using a private key, so I'm going to pause this video, go get my private key, and log in, and then we'll get started again. Hang on. Okay, so I've clicked on log in with the private key. I put my key in there, and we're going to log in. And you can see it's going to do the count. You can see that I've got the two Neo that I uh, sent in there earlier, and you can also see that I'm already getting gas. Now, the cool thing is with this uh, wallet is that I don't think you have to leave the wallet open. I think this thing runs in the background. Um, I'm going to do some testing on that, and uh, you know, if you guys do have the answer, or if no, someone knows for sure that you can just let this run while you're while this is closed and the computer's off. Um, let me know, but um, again, I'm going to do some homework tonight and let this run. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to turn it off tonight and see if I have, see what it looks like in the morning when I woke up, when I wake up. Um, at the moment, and I did this about 3 p.m. this afternoon, so I transferred the two Neos in there at 3 p.m. It's now about 7 p.m. my time, so in four hours, I've got 0 .00000934 gas. So again, it's a, it's a slow process, guys. As we saw in the calculator, nine uh, Neos will generate about one gas per year. So as I said, it's not a uh, it's not a fast uh, it's not a fast increase in gas, but it is certainly going to happen continuously over time. And I believe every five minutes you can actually claim the gas. So I haven't done that yet. So let's go ahead and claim this gas. Um, it says sending Neo. This is what you can't see. This it says it at the top of the screen here. Waiting for a transaction to clear. Um, let that do its thing. While that's doing its thing, I want to go back and revisit this. Um, this theory calculation versus the actual calculation. So what you do is you click on about and it basically says, you know, what's the difference between the two? So the theory calculation shows your gas rewards based on the white paper released for NEO, 
In the white paper, the gas reward is based on a 15 second block generation rate. You can check out the white paper here. The actual calculation shows your gas rewards based on the actual block generation rate, which is typically a bit lower than in theory. The actual block generation rate can vary and depends on the nodes in the network. That's why the actual gas reward is a bit lower than in, in the theory. If we go back here to, um, back to, hang on a second. If we come back to the calculator, you can see here it actually is showing us that the current block generation rate is 23.07 seconds. So it's running about eight seconds faster, uh, longer than the white paper had suggested, which again is what we see the difference between the theory calculation and the actual calculation. I'd love to think that as more people get on the network, that the network will get faster. It may be the exact opposite. It may slow down even more. So again, that'll be something that we'll just have to keep an eye on over time. Okay, so I've come back, it took about um, all about a minute, uh, and you can see I've got zero gas, zero NEO, two NEO. I have a feeling what happened is the amount of gas that I claimed was so small that it's not even registering in their system. And this is, a, this is another good point. When you transfer NEO into their wallets, you don't want to use small increments. You want to do whole increments. The first time I transferred um, NEO into one of their wallets, I transferred 2.88 shares and I lost the 0.88 shares. They just literally disappeared. Okay, so I've just refreshed this again. Um, again, nothing's showing up here, but you can see I've already started banking up some gas again. And you said, you, mouse over, you can claim gas once every five minutes. I'm probably going to let this run overnight for tonight. Maybe I'll do my test about shutting it off tomorrow night. I'm going to let it run overnight and then pull the gas out tomorrow morning, and hopefully it'll be an amount large enough to actually register here. Um, again, there's not much I can do at the moment with, um, uh, with the amount. It's just going to do what it is, but we are going to transfer some more in. So what we're going to do is, hang on just a second. We're going to go into my NEO wallet. Now, when I purchased these shares, <clears throat> this is on my CoinSpot account, and I had a feeling that CoinSpot was going to charge me uh, a transfer fee, a transaction fee, but I didn't know what it was. I should have actually came in here and looked at the wallet. Uh, one thing about CoinSpot, which is pretty cool, is that you know you can come into each one of your wallets and it clearly tells you what they're going to charge you. So I actually purchased 7.05. They're going to charge me 0 0.025, which is fine. So that's half of the 0 0.05. So I'm going to leave that other 0 0.025 in here, and that's just going to cover my transfer fee the next time that I buy some NEO and send it over, okay? So what we're going to do is come back into our wallet. We're going to grab this public address, so I'm just going to copy that. I am going to put that here into the address that we're double-checking, and that uh, begins with A-U-E and ends with U-R-H. And here we have A-U-E and U-R-H, so that's correct. The amount that I'm going to put in is 7.025, okay? So that's going to be the total seven shares plus the 0 0.025 network uh, fee. Uh, we're going to just say send. Now what I'm going to have to do, oh, hang on, I'm invalid, NEO only support, sending whole numbers, hang on a second. Okay, well, there you go. Things have changed since the last time I transferred these. Now, the difference is before I was transferring it to a web wallet. Now I'm transferring it to a computer wallet. But this is a great example of why you let idiots like me do this stuff first and make the mistakes and learn the hard way so you don't have to go through this. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try one um, and see if I lose the $35 that I spent on that. Hang on. Let's get this address again. Okay, so let's try sending one and see if this goes into the ETH or does it disappear because I don't have a full one. I've got to check my email, so hang on, I'll be back in just a second. Ah, okay, so you see what happened here. So the withdrawals confirmed, it took the 1.025. So lucky for me, I've got the 0.25 left over. So that's a good point if you're in CoinSpot, possibly any other exchange as well. You're going to want to make sure that if you're doing this with the NEO or Ant shares, that you, you get enough extra to cover the transfer fees. But again, with CoinSpot, it comes out automatically. So you don't add it at the point of transfer. It gets taken automatically. So now I should be able to do my other six. It's going to take the other 0.25, and I should be good to go. So let's go back to um, let's go back to the wallets, back into the Neo. So there's my 6.25. Okay, that's cool. Um, hang on a second. We'll look at the wallet. All right, so let's refresh this. Again, theoretically, it's 23 and a half seconds for that to come through. 
And I'll keep refreshing. Keep refreshing. There we go. So you saw it come through right there. So that's 23 point uh, whatever, 23.07 seconds. And that got transferred. So that's how that's going to work. And then immediately it's going to start generating and staking more gas. Okay. So once again, guys, what we did was we... We went into uh, CoinSpot, so you can. There's a link to CoinSpot in the um, in the uh, description below this video. You can go into CoinSpot. You can purchase Neo. You can set up your Neo wallet, just like I showed you today, and then transfer those into the Neon wallet, and again, start making yourself some passive income. Obviously, you can play around with the calculator as well. So uh, let's go back to the calculator, and like we've done in the past, let's say you want to put in a hundred, and you can go spend that kind of money. You're going to drop 2700 and in USD, that's going to make you about $228 of passive income per year. Let's so make that 1000 So again, if you want to throw some more money at it, now we're looking at uh, 2000 So you're, you're investing $27,094 and you're generating $2,256 uh, per year, uh, about $191 per month and $43 per week. And again, if you want to get crazy numbers, let's say you're you're a whale, you're going to drop fifty thousand uh, on these tokens. It's going to cost you uh, a mil one point three million, and you are going to be generating a hundred and twelve thousand in passive income per year. So it just depends on how you want to scale it, guys. Uh, I think my target's going to be trying to get fifteen in the short term, next paycheck possibly, pick up a few more. Um, that is going to generate me $33 per year. So again, guys, it's not necessarily going to get you rich, but it is taking these tokens that you're potentially sitting there on an exchange doing absolutely nothing and making you some money. And remember, it's paying you out in something that's going to increase in value. And I reckon this NEO and gas thing is going to blow up again. They're, you know, they're still early days. And when this thing really hits the market, um, it's it's going to, I seriously think it's going to blow up. I think you look across most of the crypto whizzes on the internet these days and ask them about NEO and everyone gives you a thumbs up. There's numerous videos talking about NEO for the long term. All right, guys, so once again, today is the first day of the rest of your life. It's just a matter of getting out here and figuring out ways to increase your own uh, personal wealth and looking at these passive incomes and you know if you think about it all the passive income streams that I've covered over the last month man if we get all those going at once and when all those platforms start taking off we're going to be sitting back laughing and I'm going to be quitting my job next year so that's my that's my whole goal in life all right guys once again crypto Kurt hope you're having a great day and I'm out